Let me start with the story. I previously created a tool. Uh, it's a free tool called Image Caption Generator. You upload an image and then it captions it like it'd be on social media, like Instagram. It's usually a funny caption and then it gives three relevant hashtags. Uh, but this user right here, VWGM, wanted a slight edit to the tool. They didn't give the exact use case, but they want a detailed caption, three to five different captions all in one box to make it easy to copy. So I created that tool and I call it the image describer. So in this video, we are going to walk through what the image describer is what it does. We'll work through two examples. I'll preview it live. Then we'll talk about a few use cases that you can use this for. And then I will show you how it is made in Bubble. So stick around to the end if you want to see that as well. All right, this is the image describer. So your first option, you have to choose how many descriptions you want the AI to output. So I have three options right now. This is a free tool and it's coming on my dime. So for now, to keep things reasonable, I'm only giving one to three descriptions. So let's start with a two description. And then all you have to do is upload an image. So we'll go to this. We'll pick this Mars scene and it's loading. And there you go, here's the two descriptions. Let's read them out loud. Bathed in the glow of a cosmic sunset, the interstellar colony thrives. It's protective dome shimmering like bubbles against the extraterrestrial horizon, love it. As the fiery skies of the dusk embrace, the Martian outpost, its majestic architecture stands testament to humanity's conquest of the stars, a beacon of civilization in the celestial wilderness. So if I want to copy just one of these descriptions, I can just do this, right click, copy. If I want to copy both, you can click this button here, boom, copy to clipboard, and then you can just paste it in wherever. I'm going to refresh the page. Let's do one more example. Let's do three descriptions this time. And let's try this image. And there we go. I won't read these three descriptions, but here are three creative descriptions using the AI. Same thing. Let's say I want the second one. I like copy, or if I want them all, click this, copy to clipboard. Here are three use cases for the tool. It'd be perfect for e-commerce and retail. If you have a product image on your website, you could describe it in detail. You know, it describes it creatively. That's how I have the AI working right now and that description might make you some sales. We have content management and digital marketing. If you have a large database of images, an image describer would be good for categorizing all the data that you have. And then accessibility and website design. If you have an image on your website, there's usually alt text, which Google uses to index that page and especially that image. So you can use this image describer to get a good detailed description of your image, which would be indexed in the search results. And I also like the idea if you don't like those funny captions on like Instagram or Twitter, you can use this image describer and you get a more practical description of your photos or your content. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how it's made. So this is the bubble page, this is the image describer. And aside for the information on how it works, we have three parts of the page. The first part is a drop down box and double clicking it, you got three options. You got one description, two descriptions, and three descriptions. And I just have the default value as one description. Then you have a basic image uploader. Actually, you have one more part. Let me scroll up here. I just have a CSS loader animation. So when the API is making its call to OpenAI, it shows this so the user knows to stay on the page. Then the last part, this is hidden until the state is changed, until we get the API callback of the answer. This is hidden but it will show the description. And then we just have a copy box here. So those are the elements in the back end. What's going on is when that picture uploader's value is changed. So when someone uploads a picture, I'm setting the state of the page to loading. And when the page is set to loading, this appears. That loading state is a trigger for this animation. And then I make a call to OpenAI to GPT vision. And this is GPT four vision. And this is the prompt. So I go, Write, and we get the value of the drop down. So it will say write one, two, or three. And these find and replace, I'm just taking away the descriptions. So that extra text in the drop down menu. That extra text is just for UI purposes, it's just for the user. So I'm removing descriptions first, and if descriptions doesn't exist, that's for two and three descriptions. Then the second find and replace is just description by itself without the S. So you need two find and replaces. So in full, I have write, let's say two different descriptions for this image, each being one to two sentences in length only. Be creative, don't number them, because before it was spitting out description number one, description number two, description number three, we don't need that. Don't number them, 
and separate each description by a line break. It was also making it into one complete blob of a paragraph. So what's good about GPT-4 Turbo is it really listens to positive and negative commands now. A negative command would be don't do this. For those with experience with the old GPT-4 models, negative prompts didn't always work. It didn't really understand what not to do. It more understood what to do. Okay, and then finally in the API call, you need to provide it an image URL because this is GPT-4 Turbo Vision. It needs an image URL in order to read. And what I do is I just take the picture uploader's value. So as soon as you upload an image to Bubble, it automatically creates a URL for that image in Amazon. And then unfortunately you have to add HTTPS. For some reason it doesn't provide that naturally. The next step is I'm setting the state of the page. I'm not saving any of your data in my database primarily because I'm on the free plan right now of this bubble just because this is a free tool and it has a limit to how much data you can upload. Once I just make this actually westfrank.com and not westfrank.bubbleapps, then we'll think about creating user accounts so you can save all of your outputs. But for now, everything's just in a state. And what we're doing is we're grabbing the value of that API call. So whatever the result is, and then this find and replace is I'm just taking away quotation marks because sometimes the AI model still sends back just everything in quotes. And then finally, we set the state of the page. It's loading to no, so it removes that animation. And with all that, you have the image describer. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's do two descriptions, and let's try to give it a funny one. Let's do this octopus with teeth. Let's see what it comes up with. Here, it's loading, and here's our two descriptions. As the sun dips low, two vibrant sea creatures share a joke, their laughter echoing through the salty waves. I'm gonna copy this, and when I upload this image to wherever I am, here's a nice description. I right, hope you enjoy this free tool. A link for it is gonna be in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you can think of any other free tools that you like me to create. That's it for now. See ya.